Palo Alto voters will decide on Measure D. It would repeal a section of the Palo Alto Charter, which requires that a three-member arbitration panel decide disputes over wages, hours, and employment issues for the city's fire and police employees. On November 8th, the citizens of Palo Alto will be asked to vote in support of Measure D, which would repeal binding arbitration for public safety employees. Your city council has placed this measure on the ballot, and a majority of the city council has endorsed it. The Palo Alto Weekly has called it an outdated practice that cannot continue. The current system is wrong, and it must be reformed because, first, it has resulted in critical decisions being made by third-party arbiters from outside of Palo Alto. Second, these arbiters don't weigh the overall well-being of the city nor even fairness to other employee groups. Finally, Palo Alto is an outlier as one of the few cities in the state that has binding arbitration. Currently, third-party arbiters get to make final decisions on critical issues that determine the short and long-term financial well-being of the city. Unfortunately, these arbiters don't base their rulings on the financial consequences to the city, nor do they weigh whether their ruling is fair to other employee groups who, who have already had to accept reforms to their salaries, benefits, and pensions. Arbiters don't consider whether an additional union benefit will mean that streets, parks, libraries, and social services would suffer as a result. A single arbitration process can cost the city over a quarter million dollars, money better spent on services to its citizens. In addition, professional arbiters come primarily from union backgrounds. They may be third parties, but they are not neutral, and they are typically biased towards the unions and in their slant and their rulings. Over the years, the mere threat of arbitration has forced the city to make concessions that are fiscally unsound. The results of this system have been financially unsustainable, and they speak for themselves. Pension costs for fire and police unions will go up over 30 percent between just 2009 and 2012. Currently, firemen earn a pension that is calculated as 3 percent of their highest year's salary multiplied by the number of years they've worked. This means that a firefighter can retire as early as 50 years old and receive 90 percent of their salary for life. Total public safety expenses for the city have risen 80 percent over the last decade, while the cost of other city departments have been largely frozen. To the surprise of many voters, Palo Alto is currently one of the few cities in California that provides barning arbitration. Less than 5 percent of cities in the state use this process. The recent Santa Clara County Grand Jury Report stated that binding arbitration was contributing to unsustainable long-term financial obligations for cities, and they recommended specifically that Palo Alto should end its use. Your city council is determined to not allow Palo Alto to slip into a crisis like we are seeing in cities such as San Jose and elsewhere. The fire union has a strong vested interest in opposing Measure D using powerful resources at their disposal. They will spend large amounts of money, hire lawyers, exert political pressure, and rally their employees to try to defeat this measure after it's been voted upon. They have already tried to keep it off the ballot. They will spend freely to try to defeat it, and they will attempt to prevent it from being implemented. Now is your time to help. If you agree with bringing, bringing the responsibility for these tough economic decisions back to locally elected officials, then we need your support. Public safety will remain the most important service that Palo Alto provides its citizens. Our firefighters and police are valued members of the community. However, because of binding arbitration, public safety employee compensation has continued to rise dramatically while other city expenses have been largely frozen. It is essential that your elected representatives have the ability to negotiate in good faith but without handing final decision-making authority to outside arbiters who don't have to live with the results. At its core, Measure D is about fiscal responsibility, 
Palo Altoans have been very clear. They want their city government to reform its cost structure to match the economic realities we face. Measure D is an essential step enabling your elected officials to manage the fiscal future of Palo Alto while holding them accountable for the results. Help us restore fiscal responsibility for Palo Alto. Go to repealbindingarbitration.org, make a needed contribution, display a lawn sign, email your friends, and please vote yes on Measure D. Hi, I'm former State Assemblywoman Sally Lieber, asking you to consider voting no on Measure D. There are just too many questions about Measure D. Measure D is a highly controversial measure that barely made it onto the ballot. And yes, there are better solutions for reform than outright repeal of binding arbitration. The City Council has already invested time in finding options for reforming rather than appealing arbitration. Police officers and firefighters have offered to work with the city on finding a compromise reform measure that would be fair to all sides. And the city council itself was nearly evenly split between proposals to reform and repeal arbitration of disputes. It will be better for the community, for our police officers and firefighters, if all the parties sit down at the table and work out more effective reforms. But instead of offering reforms, Measure D will completely eliminate the use of independent third parties who fairly resolve contract disputes. Unlike other unions in the city, police and firefighters cannot strike when contract negotiations break down. Instead, they have the right to arbitration under Palo Alto City Charter. We all value fairness and want to ensure that all the city's employees are treated fairly. The fact is that without the right to strike, police officers and firefighters don't have the same collective bargaining rights as other city employees. The availability of fair and neutral arbitration levels the playing field for our public safety officers. In fact, the current system works. Binding arbitration has rarely been used, and the vast majority of contracts with police officers and firefighters are negotiated without it and have been for over 30 years. The better alternative is and always has been to resolve negotiations at the bargaining table. This has been the Palo Alto way for decades. Measure D is unfair and would take the community in the wrong direction. I hope you'll take a second look and realize that there are better solutions out there. Please join Vice Mayor Yahweh Ye, Council Members Gail Price, and former Council Members John Barton, Ladoris Cordell, and Gary Fazino and the Santa Clara County Democratic Party in opposing Measure D and taking the time to find that better way. Please vote no on Measure D so that the City Council, the community, police, and firefighters can all work on sensible reform that we can all support.